The next mic I'm demonstrating is the Samson Go mic. It's a small USB condenser microphone and it costs about $50. The nice thing about a USB microphone is it plugs directly into your computer through the USB port, so you don't have to have any kind of audio adapters or audio cables, which we'll talk about later with some of the more expensive mics. This microphone can be set to be either directional or omnidirectional. Right now this microphone is set up in a cardioid or directional pattern because it's kind of heart-shaped with the largest sensitivity in the front and a dead zone in the back. So you can see that if I rotate the microphone around, as I come around behind the microphone, um, I'm losing a lot of volume and, same on, and then it's less sensitive on the side. So this is the cardioid pickup pattern, which means it's directional. So you wanna make sure that you're always working with the front of the microphone and it does a good job rejecting sound from the back. That's reflections and other sounds. And we can see here if I switch this, that now we're in omnidirectional mode and it's picking up a lot more reflections, it's picking a lot more room sound, but if I'm moving around, you can see that it doesn't really affect the sound quite as much. So that could be really useful if you're trying to record a class conversation or maybe put it in between two people and do an interview. So there can be a lot of reason to have an omnidirectional. I like that this microphone is switchable so that I can move it back and forth uh, between the two patterns. Just be careful that you know which one you set it on. I'm going to switch it back to directional now. This is also our first chance to experience the proximity effect that I mentioned earlier. Because the proximity effect only occurs on directional microphones. So as we said before with the inverse square law, um, as we get closer to our microphone our volume increases. But with the proximity effect you can see that as I get closer to the microphone not only does my volume increase, but the character changes, right? I get a lot more presence and I get a lot more bass tones. And again, that, that changes as I adjust that closeness. And here I'm about two inches from the microphone and then here I'm about eight inches from the microphone. So when you're using a directional microphone, when you're using a cardioid pickup pattern, you need to be aware of that proximity effect. And you can use it to your benefit if you want that nice, rich, deep, bassy sound. Um, but you all, it also means that you have to be very aware of your distance and work to kind of stay at a consistent distance, otherwise you're changing that sound. This Samson is made to uh, clip on top of your laptop screen, but it also comes with a threaded hole to mount on a, a microphone stand, so I would recommend that you get a nice little microphone stand. Here I have this little boom stand, which I really like, so that uh, it can stick out closer to me and kind of stick out over my keyboard, and it keeps the microphone in the spot that I like it to be while I'm working at the computer.